All right. So hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tulio. I'm a software engineering manager at Cadence. And today I will be talking about how to tackle technical debt. And yes, I'm talking to all of you junior developers out there. So when you're a junior developer and you've moved into a new company or you've joined a recently made large project, the code base can feel quite big. And this is what it feels like to navigate it. You're Going through a maze, you know what you want to find, but you really don't know where you want to, where you'll get. And eventually you might end up in something like this. You find a scrapyard. This is typically what we call legacy code. You are using functions that should not be working, that should not be used, but they are there. And you lose precious time trying to make your code work by using something that should not have been made public, uh, whatever. So when you're a senior developer, on the other hand, this is what it feels like to thread through this, through this maze. Uh, the walls are there, but they feel like they are very small. You know exactly how to get to the place that you want to be, even though you might have to do a weird path, but you will solve things because in the end, you're an advanced, you're a tech lead, you're an architect, and you know how to get things done. And along the way, uh, things might look a little uh, crazy, and you know that this should be tidied up, you should solve these things and clean it up, but you don't have time to do this, right? You have to deliver that critical fix, you have to deliver the feature you promised to your customer, and you just leave it for later and never come back to it. So some key concepts, when you're dealing with this, uh, we typically are seeing what we call technical debt. These are the things that you know you have to get to eventually and solve, but you typically don't because you have more important things to do. And I think the greatest example of this is changing your password. You get an email every some months to change your password, and you know that if you don't change, you will be logged out, and you won't be able to work on that day or lose a lot of hours, but you still leave it for the last day, and one day it bites you. And another thing is that resource allocation is everywhere. It, even in your company or in your open source project, you will always be dealing with resource allocation. And there is a very uh, weird trade-off where people have some free time, uh, whereas they can work on stuff. But uh, the more free time that you have, the least knowledge you, you also have. So you can't really work on stuff until you get knowledgeable. But when you get knowledgeable, you don't have time to work on stuff. And it's typically divided like this. Junior devs have a lot of free time, but little knowledge. And senior devs have a lot of knowledge, but not a lot of free time. So how can we join this together? And I think we can borrow from other professions where we have apprentices. I think as software developers, we have a lot of fear of having junior developers fiddle with complex stuff because we're like, oh, they are sure going to break havoc, delete everything, uh, remove all of the files. But that's why us experienced developers are there. We can get this into code reviews, into planning, into daily meetings, and we can teach them. We can avoid these from happening. And I think that's a very good model. And I wanted to, to talk about it here. So what should you do if you have a lot of technical debt, but you never get to solve it? Get one or some great architects. And these are people that have a lot of knowledge in the code and they know what the, are the projects they need to do, but they are also passionate to teach and to steer this committee. And then get a group of junior developers who actually do the work and follow the lead of these architects. The tip in here is that no manager will want to let go of a full resource. So ask for just 20% of their time. This is manageable. Uh, you all meet in one day and do the work and all managers will be happy because some of the things that always bothered everyone but that no one invested will start to get de dealt with, to get dealt with. And then you have them all work on the same day and just rinse and repeat. Talking from experience, we have been doing this for more than five years. It just works. We have used junior developers to get complex stuff, stuff dealt with, like rewriting the whole of the build system, upgrading compilers, uh, moving to a newer C++ standard or upgrading uh, some library. It improves the knowledge sharing by a lot, and it actually makes it actually boosts the juniors' careers. Inc uh, I mean, incredibly, they become references in their own teams, and you, you don't get people bothering the architects with questions that now all of these people know. It also unburdens architects, of course, and everyone gets happy because the technical debt is so. So that's my talk. Uh, you can find me mostly anywhere by this handle. And thank you for watching.